friends, familia. Hello from Eastern Chat. Yesterday we met Idris when he came to us wanting to share some of his story. Today we sat down with him and part of his family in what is now their home, a tent in a refugee camp. These are some of his family members, his nephew, his son, a daughter, his wife, and two daughter-in-laws. Thank you for allowing us in your home and for letting us meet your family. Uh, Okay, they came here since uh, uh, August. Since August? Last year, August, yeah. Last year, August, yeah. okay, so a long time. And um, what are your feelings about uh, the life here in the camp? Uh, and he said that uh, yeah, it was improved and uh, the donors give them I mean, uh, some help and they get food. But the only thing uh, was not improved is the security. Okay, so security is still, yeah. still an issue. How is it, uh, how different it is from his home back in Sudan? And he said that uh, Sudan here, uh, Sudan is good. And it's uh, it's home, you know, mm -hmm. home city. It's very different, like this one. What are some of the activities that uh, your family does here in in uh, in, camp. in this camp? Uh, <coughs> He said that uh, one of his sons uh, is a teacher. Oh, yeah? He's a teacher? Uh, yeah. Children there. Very good. Student there, and one of them is a doctor. He's working for IMT. Yesterday you were telling me that uh, you would like to go back home, but you you feel that security is, is not enough for your family to return. Uh, what is your understanding of, of why there is no security? He said there is no security because even in Sudan right now there is no security. Mm. And they are not safe. So why he is talking no security even to go to Sudan? And uh, the army destroyed their their houses. January. To February, in the middle, 2004. Mm -hmm. They came uh, when the sunrise, morning, and the sunrise. They killed all the men who were around the village, mm -hmm. and they ran away. Okay. Uh, most of the person who was killed are uh, some. Uncles, uh, friends, uncles and friends, yeah, and brothers. He had mentioned that it was the military that came in. Was the Janjaweed involved, or was it just the military? Oh, Janjaweed. It was mixed. It. Janjaweed and Sudan government. They came with the uh, antenna, you know, antenna, kind of yes. airplane, yes, and uh, helicopter, yeah. and Airplanes. cars, and you know, Spiders. big guns. They came and. To bombard the village. They were inside the house. Mm -hmm. And what did they think when they heard the noise outside? It was happened in the middle of the city, and they killed and and if someone and the others, they left the, the city mm -hmm. and it was brisk. It was suddenly. So it was very fast. Very fast. Yeah. She uh, said that uh, it was. Uh, when first, uh, the morning when they came and they bombarded the, the, the city, 
-hmm. the village as well. Uh, they run away and they, they hide in the forest. Has anyone told them why the government was attacking not only their village but other villages? What do they think? He said that uh, in whole Sudan, they don't need the black skin. And even when they came in the village, uh, even when they saw, I mean, uh, the white skin, or I mean, uh, the red skin, they, they can take with them. And if the black skin, they kill them. So why they don't need black, black skin, whole Sudan?